Hey YouTube, so I've got a little unboxing for you today. Uh, we've got the Z2 Mini Workstation. Uh, so in the box, quick set of guide, mouse, power brick, quite a big heavy power brick. We'll have a look, close look at that in a minute. Um, UK 3 pin plug, UK keyboard, and then we've got the Z3 Mini. Okay, so it's a little bit bigger than what I expected from the pictures. From the pictures, I expected it to be a bit like the um, HP Mini um, Elite 800 that I reviewed recently. If you check my other videos out, um, so it's a little bit bigger than that. So, this is, I suppose you can have it this way up. Still got this plastic wrap on, obviously. Um, so this is a uh, Intel Xeon fifth, fifth generation. It's got 16 gig of RAM. It's got a 256 um, gigabyte SSD. Um, so around the side here, we've got the power in. We've got two display ports, no, four display ports, two USB-C, two USB-3, and one LAN connection, Ethernet. So, uh, so a striking Z on top, which uh, is a bit funny. Let's just wheel this back a bit so we get an idea of what it looks like. So it's kind of like a gunmetal metallic finish, which is quite nice. And then you've got this Z, which is done in like a gloss black. So it's a nice finish, I think. Uh, you've got a button on the top, well, on the front here, maybe. This is the thing. The only way you can tell this is the back is it's got the plugs on it and they and then you've got the front. And then, oh, you've got two more USBs this side as well. So that's quite good. And a headphone jack as well. Um, funny that, because when I looked at the specification online um, on the HP website, I'm pretty sure it said it was only two USB uh, threes. Hence why I bought a few of these. Which is, uh, let's quickly open one of these so you can see what it is. So this is a USB. C to USB adapter, which is going to plug in here, like so. Uh, so it's interesting that that's there. What it does mean, of course, is that if you're going to stand it upright, which I presume you can do, although there's no rubber feet like there is on the bottom, but you could stand it upright like that, and you've got USBs at the top, and you've got USBs at the back, and you've got your button at the bottom there. It kind of makes sense to do that, but it's a shame they didn't include that in the uh, design. Uh, so, I like to open these things up, as you know, so I'm going to try to get in here. Now, I've never opened one of these. Generally speaking, HP business machines, HP business machines, it's easy. And there we go, there's a little catch at the back and the top just comes off. Okay, so on top here we've got a drive bay here, two and a half inch, which you can put whatever you want in. Um, underneath the fan here, we've got our RAM, and I can just about see that there's two um, two DIMMs in there, two eight gigabyte DIMMs. And then we've got the heat sink here, which, oh, that's just a metal plate. So a heat sink is actually just this part here, and then there's that one fan, and there's air hose all the way around. It looks like it draws air in from every direction. There's another fan here. I think that might be for the GPU. This one's got a Quattro, uh, Nvidia Quattro um, 640, I think it is, um, which is one of the smaller ones. It's kind of like almost like a laptop inside a desktop computer, really. Um, and then I'm guessing the hard drive on this one would be a M.2. Uh, drive which is 256 which just runs just below that fan. I don't know if you can see it there, but you've got the uh, The m.2 drive just under that fan uh, So it does allow for easy expan Expansion, but not, not there's no included SATA cables or anything So and it doesn't look like there's an easy way to find out where those sit this doesn't come out very easily, you've got to unscrew it all, so I'm not going to do that. Um, on the back of the case, it does give you a, uh, a little summary here, 
um, of what it is. So yeah, so it's a HP Z2 Mini G3 Performance Workstation. GPU, CPU. Um, can't just read that upside down. Does it say P PCH? Power? Maybe? So, um, yeah, so there, it confirms it, M.2 connector. Yeah, that's quite not handy to have, a little schematic of the inside. Um, so just put that back on and I'll show you that catch on the back. So let's find out how easy it is to put back on because that's another thing, not always easy to put back on. Uh, catches, I'm gonna guess that's the way. See what I mean? It's not always easy. Okay, definitely this way. There we go, so it slides in a little bit there, press down, done. So there's a little catch here that releases it, like that. You just push that that way and the top comes off. Can't do much easier than that. Okay, let's have a look at this power brick again, because it's a beast. Two hundred watt. So um, that's a fair amount. Um, Twenty nine amp. And then it's using nineteen point five volt to power it, um, and then one hundred and three amp current. Yeah. Is it ten point three? Ten point three. Amp. Yeah, <laughs> current. Not much else to say about that, other than perhaps the connector on the back is one of the larger HP uh, ones, which kind of like fits in with the size of this machine. Yeah, so any questions on the Z Mini, Z2 Mini, then uh, Please ask, and I'll do my best to answer the questions. And um, yeah, please like, subscribe, and uh, I'll carry on doing these videos. Oh, one more thing mouse and keyboard, of course, because uh, there's slight design differences. So this is just a cheap mouse, really. It's quite flimsy plastic, light. It's okay, it's just a HP mouse. Nothing special about that keyboard. Yeah, it's one of the slimmer keyboards. Uh, so the keys in particular don't have a kind of like mechanical feel or anything. Uh, it's fairly slim and uh, yeah, it's okay. It's USB, so there goes two of your USB ports. That leaves you with another two. Maybe that's why on the HP specification it says there's two USB ports. Because you need two for the mouse and keyboard, of course. Anyway, bye, bye for now. Speak to you soon. Bye.